Then we come to the 30 day plan. We come to the 30 day plan. I have done some assumptions. 30 days, 28 days minus two I have done starting tomorrow. The grand 30 day plan. I am expecting that boss, eight mock days are removed. Eight mock days. Remember seven plus one day extra in this next two days. I'm not counting today. So I'm counting 31st and 1st. Eight mock days, one chill pill day, the 28th of November and one D-Day. That also is gone. So 10 days are gone. 10 days are gone. In your 30 days, you have you, you cannot improve anything on that day. On a mock day, you can only write the mock and try to improve your attempts, strategize, but not really, really do anything great. 10 days are gone. No problems. Five days of wastage I have taken almost. Diwali ka din nikal do. 14th November, you will probably have to call me and call everybody else and say happy Diwali kind of thing. I mean, I'm just kidding. But Diwali is gone. One more post Diwali day. The Ratpura Jalaya hai COVID ko bagane ke liye with all the bombs. Remove that also. Remove the last two days. Of course, I have done. Five days are anyway taken care of. One more off day you remove it. One more off day you remove it somewhere. Maybe two off days you can remove it actually, guys. Some days you don't want to do it continuously. It happens. So in other words, we have only 15 days to work. If 10 days, in fact, actually 15, 16 days to work. There is a mistake in this. Actually, you will have 17 days. But the way I have taken 15 days is because I have considered here, actually, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 days and 4 extra days of wastage I have taken. That's what I have taken. I am saying 15 days is what I will really, really work. Plus 8 days of mock. Plus 1 chill pill day and 1 D day. The 15 plus 8, 23 plus 2, 24, 25. Extra day agya or zada kya, no problems. But these 15 days, I am going to tell you, I am really going to tell you this, that you can improve 15 marks per section. Remember, we have been telling this again and again, but I don't know how many of you are following it up. Following this, you can still make it. You can still make it. Remember, 15 marks is five extra questions or four less mistakes. Four less mistakes. Look at your the overall plan. If you can make four less mistakes in each of the sections while increasing the overall attempts by two, three marks, overall two, three marks attempts extra, four less mistakes, you will give, you will improve nothing less than 45 marks. It could be more than that also. It could be more than that also. Impure improving accuracy is the goal in this. And if you have an extra day, it's a bonus. So I'm going to look at that as 15 days plan. Anything extra you do, please go ahead and do that. I'll start with each of them. It is a little haphazard. I said this in the disclaimer in the very beginning. Those of you are listening again, it's a little haphazard plan, but very relevant of how many hours to prepare, where do you prepare from, and how much to prepare from. Once again, this is the time you don't have to look at 100 other things. Just the mocks and probably cat original papers will be more than sufficient for most of these things. Verbal ability. How do you increase accuracy? Here is what I'm saying. Divide these 15 days into three sets of five days each. Solve 10 questions per day of the three areas. Parajumbles. So on a particular day, you will do only 10 questions of parajumbles. For five days, you will do parajumbles, parajumbles, parajumbles. Next five days, you will do para, uh, para summary, para summary, para summary. If you don't want to do that for five days continuously, do three days of para jumbles, then next three days of para summary, next three days of or or para jumbles. Next, you will still have another six days to go. Two plus two plus two. But in every day, whatever extra the in a day when you want to do improve verbal ability, I am asking you to do only ten questions per day. 
not more than 30 minutes will take you not more than 30 minutes will take you and from where will you do it from the drill down analysis from the past papers do not worry about saying saying that sir mujhe pata hai kind of things no don't worry about it do the same questions because i want you to get the comfort zone and the familiarity of the questions so you will do a total of 50 questions per area per type per type because there are three types 50 questions in five days 100 to 150 minutes is all that you will give it no problems but it will improve your accuracy why and how here is what i'm going to say how do you improve let's say for example there are para jumbles i start with the rules in my mind whatever the rules that i have then apply these rules in the exam in in when you are solving i told you not 10 questions are there make rules for yourself implement these rules blindly you will get correct and wrong after every 10 questions of this review the rules ki tumhe mistakes to aaya hoga the rule would have gone bad or your implementation of the rule would have gone bad or you have the rule itself is wrong because a new rule has come in update the rule go to step 1 do the second day third day likewise for five days for five five days for the same area i am saying if your accuracy is 60 50% it will go to 66% if it is 66% very very likely it will go to 80% accuracy very likely and if the accuracy is 35% it goes to 50% which is still good enough which is still good enough okay that is verbal ability similarly for reading comprehension how do you increase accuracy here is again the same thing solve 30 questions each 10 questions per day for each type of questions that we have 150 questions i am saying 30 questions each of fact based fact based inference uh, inference questions main idea questions and the other types five types of questions are there if you remember reading comprehension if you remember reading comprehension there are five types of questions sorry there are five types of questions i don't know whether you remember this or not i'll just showcase to you broadly i am saying remember this is what we said these are the five i'm not taking miscellaneous fact based fact based inference inference main idea and logical structure so what i'm saying is for each question each type of question i want you to do 30 30 questions 30 30 questions each with 10 questions per day so 30 into 5 150 questions you will solve of inference fact based fact based inference main idea and others that means in 15 days you will do 150 questions but each question is of a paragraph of a passage please use drill down analysis for this nothing else one question from the drill down analysis that means you are reading the passage and doing the question you will take three minutes per question probably here again begin with the rules in mind you know elimination techniques that you have learned or any kind of a le learning that you have whatever rules that you have made for yourself one of the rules we will take we uh, i have talked about in uh, one of the sessions is something like this if the question is asking a neutral question if the question is a neutral question then my answer can neither be negative nor positive it has to be neutral similarly if if the question is there in front of me is a positive question my answer if it happens has to be a positive answer unless the question is not um, begin with the rules in mind focus on eliminating options you will get this speed and more importantly accuracy again the concentration whatever has happened in the past is doesn't matter now in the next 30 days or 15 days actually and remember you not only 15 days there are eight mocks also you are real uh, uh, you know uh, going back to good enough for you to do 30 30 questions of different types of questions which way to improve you look at your, which ones to start with look at your overall analysis and it will help you kind of things is that clear so that is very 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 important for you uh, this is for reading comprehension i am telling you if you do this i'm i'm betting on this 
after all the hev uh, heavy work that you have done these 30 days can increase your accuracy of at least three questions at least three questions add one more of verbal ability if it can add one four new accuracies that will give you 16 new marks and that is my guarantee similarly let's look at verbal rc so what is it that we are saying total vrc per day kya right? verbal ability 30 minutes approximately reading comprehension 60 minutes because see 10 questions if you do per day per per rc 10 into 3 minutes you will take or even 5 minutes you take 50 minutes you will take not more than 50 minutes so in other words i'm saying 10 30 minutes for verbal 60 minutes for rc at the at the outset at the complete thing and topic test if you want to take or on a particular day you want to take a sectional test not all the days but one one particular day 40 minutes plus 40 minutes of analysis vocab 20 minutes this is something which i am very very clear about please spend time on all the words that you don't understand even today it will be helping you this entire thing will be 120 minutes or 200 minutes 120 normally but on those days where you write the sectional test it will become 200 minutes can you spend this my bet is my friends this much of work is required on those 15 days the non mock days the non mock days extra isse jana karna chahte ho great show no problems the above is for non mock days for verbal rc the next dilr plan to use the 15 days now i've just put it across very very broadly we have 15 days right important sets in lr now i am picking up the most important sets venn diagrams and set theory arrangements grouping and distribution games and tournaments these are my four four most important in lr give two days and do 10 10 sets or five five sets a day you can do more great arrangements you can do 15 sets in a day because it will take you less time in general similarly Important sets for data interpretation. Tables with numbers and percentages. Okay. 10 sets it is not 10 days on this one. This is 10 sets. Different types of graphs. Per day. Can you do one day you take up 8 sets. And logic based DI two days you take up 10 days. So I am saying 8 plus 5. 13 days. Add two more days. 15 days. Anything else extra you want to do. Now, one question I have or rather one suggestion I have. This is considering that you will do either DI or LR on a particular day. But if you have time and if you can stretch yourself, if you don't have any other exams, can you also do? Instead of doing five sets of DI and five, uh, on one day and five sets of uh, uh, LR on another day, can you do three sets of DI and three sets of DI uh, LR on the same day? So the number of sets that you solve will become higher. But where do we do it from? I'm again saying do not touch anything else except the drill down analysis. Now, or, or the original CAD papers. Now, my question, there's one question which keeps coming back. Sir, what if a passage, a, a, a set is very difficult, like a games and tournament set, which is very difficult, even in the mock. In the mock also, it is very difficult. Should I do it or not? I'm saying read it. Understand that it is difficult, get out of it. Don't waste your time on that. Because why do you need to read it? Because you need to understand that this goddamn thing is difficult. Because in the exam also you will not touch it. You will not touch it with a barge pole. But how will you know that you should not touch it? You need to be able to understand the complexity when you read it. That is why you need to read the complexity of it. That is the reason why I want to do it, but don't waste your time in solving it, solving it. Trust once again on this one single fact that if you pick up the easy ones, you will still get the 95 percentile. Obviously, to get a 99, you need to get a little bit of a medium level difficulty questions also. So in the numbers of hours to study, five sets per day, maximum of 120 minutes. Five sets. I mean, frankly speaking, if you day take 15 minutes per set 20 minutes per set you take it will take you 100 minutes but i i'm giving you maximum of 120 minutes maximum of 120 minutes and add 10 minutes of speed maths without fail add 
10 minutes of speed maths without fail because that speed of adding subtracting division will help you in quant also will help you in quant also and the last one is a very 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 specific quant 15 day plan now how many days should i give to each one of these things i have made four plans there are people for a pa person who is very good in qa and is broadly good in all the areas for that person i would say hey boss you give five days to arithmetic four days to algebra three days to geometry two days to numbers one day to uh, others why is this because this is in the way the number of questions come in each of the areas so you will have to do proportionately that way this is for plan one the number of days now let's look at plan two this is for a person who is not good in numbers or geometry mensuration Usko nahi karna hai. Aapko nahi karna hai. so out of the 15 days that you have where you will study give all your efforts into arithmetic and algebra only plan three even better than that. but here i'm saying two days to geometry you figure out where who which person you are plan three for a person who is like pathetic in uh, quant but thoda to arithmetic samajh mein aata hai algebra may be uh, indices samajh mein aata hai function samajh mein aata hai kuch aur samajh mein aata hai 10 days of arithmetic five days of algebra somebody could be six eight days here five days and two days also it could be eight five and two you know this is a broad plan plan four is for an engineer good in qa but not very strong in arithmetic don't waste your time right now give more time to algebra because that is where you'll get your scores that's where you'll get your scores arithmetic karna hi padega one topic like let's say time speed and distance comes in you don't want to do it leave it but at least know the basics you should know what's a relative speed what's a average speed what's d is equal to s into t kind of things but if you don't understand let's say the clocks problems or the escalator problems or the uh, slightly more difficult problems leave them alone leave them alone but this is a qa 15 day plan depending on who the person you are and rework according to who you are frankly speaking what do you do in this how do you revise this is something which i want you to look at let's say on a particular day you thought i will do a revision on averages mixtures allegations let's say just the topic what will you do first before starting to work on a q on a qa topic you write down on a sheet of paper all the formula for that topic all the formulae for that topic write down any concept that you have used for solving of for that topic this exercise the above exercise will take you 15 to 30 minutes because you i don't want you to start uh, 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 solving the question straight away 15 to 30 minutes it will take you then check with the funda book or any other notes that you have for the topic for those formulae you have missed out jot them down also jot them down also now solve 30 to 50 questions per topic from the previous mocks or cat originals not more than 50 per that topic for that day for example if an area like uh, geometry is there and let's say area like circles come in you write down all the alternate segment theorem and what happens if the uh, triangle is there in the one half of the semicircle, the tangent, what is the length of the tangent, and whatever, whatever uh, formulas are there, formula are there. Make sure that you write it down. 15 to 30 minutes you do it. Then go back to the funda book or the basics book. Make sure that you write down all the other choices, all the other uh, what do you call it? Uh, formulae, and then and then solve the 30, 50 questions that are there for the topic. If each question on an average takes you three minutes also, even now, it will not take you guys. Total time spent will not be more than 90 to 150 minutes. 90 minutes to 150 minutes. Some of you will take 150 minutes. Some of you will take 90 minutes. Some of you will take less than that. This is the way to do your quant. The total time taken for quant per day will be not more than 105 minutes to 180 minutes. 105 if you are 90 minutes here and 15 minutes here or 180 minutes, that's three hours.
that's the quant. So each area, if you notice, I have kind of taken you through everything else. Summary of the entire thing per day, therefore. In a day, verbal, you will do 10 questions. RC, 10 questions. DI, if you can do 5 sets. LR, 5 sets. Total VA is 20. Speed math, 10 minutes here, I'm writing it. DILR, therefore, total 10. QA, total 30 to 50 questions. I have put all, in fact, here I should add 180 probably. But the total time of 80 minutes, 160 minutes and 120 minutes or 110, 210 and 150. Considering that DI and LR, I will do 5, 5 sets. It is less than that, no problems. You will require 6 hours to 8 hours on a non-mock day. Can you not do this, guys? Given that there is a lot at stake on a non-mock day, six hours to eight hours, very systematically the way I'm asking you to do it, if you can do while analyzing and you know looking at what you want, you will be surprised you will get it. This is my recommendation. Last two slides. I, I've already spent one hour, 15 minutes. I'll probably take another five, 10 minutes for you to kind of get you that kind of a boost to this. Recommendation of the time to be spent. Morning before 12 noon, finish two to three hours. Between 12 o'clock and six o'clock, two to three hours. And evening from six to 12 a.m., two to three hours. Plan this out. You know, sit for two hours continuously, minimum. Morning when you get up at six o'clock in the morning, hopefully, seven o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, whatever. Sit for two hours continuously. Give a break for your lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever that is. Make sure that you do this. It's very much possible. Very, very, very much possible. That's what I told you in the very beginning. I'm going to give you to the extent that bhai, I'm spoon feeding you if you notice. Almost spoon feeding you. Do this. Ha. Final word. Not really a final word. There are certain things that are going in your minds. Certain, uh, you know, cobwebs in your minds. I'm going to talk about them in a moment. You know what? You will feel that there are lots of difference between sectional scores and mock score happening and you feel dejected. Don't. You will reach that mock scores also in, uh, uh, sectional scores also in mock scores if you don't give up right now. I do understand that a lot of us, a lot of us, not all of them, are desperate. Loss of confidence is there. Loss of confidence, despite it's out of so much of effort, it's still not changing. I, I have this fundamental that look, one transformation is all you need. The day it transforms, it transforms forever. It looks undoable till the day it is getting done. It is almost like the hathoda, when if you're, you know, the iron when you're trying to break it. It's like you're trying, 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 and nothing seems to work. But it will come around. It will come around. Don't lose it. You want to give up? Isn't, this is not the time to do it kind of things. Any self-doubts that you have, you know, it is only natural. Talk to people like us. Listen to this once again. You will see that these self-doubts are only going to waste your time. You know, you will be under self-pity. You will be wasting a lot of time in self-doubt. There is not a rupee value or a paisas value in that. There is no point in wasting your time on this. More than anything else, Overthinking, over strategizing can be harmful, will be harmful. You do what you need to do, kind of things. Yes, all the ideas are good, but plan, you know, stick to the plan. Don't worry about the result as such. It's easy to tell for me to tell you. 30 days can turn around fortunes. It can improve from wherever you are, or it can turn around wherever bad you are, kind of things. You just have to, oh, 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 that's something which is uh, lost. You just have to just, you have to just produce two hours. That's the thing which is not written there. My mistake somewhere, it got deleted. You just have to produce two hours of performance on that particular day, the D-Day. We'll come down. I will meet you once again, twice, thrice before you guys write the exam. But the two hours is what matters. All the effort that you're putting in is for the two hours. It can turn around. And you are doing it for yourself, not to showcase it to the world, not to showcase it to your parents, girlfriends, boyfriends, uh, anybody else for that matter. 
and that means to say you need to be comfortable with failures you need to be comfortable with successes also the last thing i'm going to say guys please enjoy the exam we will talk about this once again if you enjoy the exam every mock that you write you enjoy it you may get zero marks you may get 150 marks you need to enjoy that of how you're doing it to the plan and that is what will make you really really good that's what i'll say all the very best for the moment but here is what i'm saying guys once again to all of you 30 days 31 days to be precise but 30 days is more than sufficient i don't know whether you will get a 99.9 percentile or a 99.5 or a 90 or a 95 but what is important is to work towards a plan i have now given you as much of uh you know uh minute details as possible of course i can go much much, do, uh, much more deeper into it but i i don't think it's necessary you guys are smart enough guys you want to be mbas tomorrow why would you want more than that plan it out implement it we are here to help you all the time from all of us okay thank you so much wish you all the very best